The Antonio Gramsci Reader, Selected Writings 1916-1935, is a compilation that offers a profound glimpse into the thoughts and theories of Antonio Gramsci, an influential Marxist philosopher and politician. This collection, curated to showcase Gramsci's intellectual journey, encompasses his writings during a tumultuous period marked by World War I, the Russian Revolution, and his imprisonment under Mussolini's fascist regime. Gramsci's work is characterized by his analysis of culture, politics, and the role of intellectuals in society, making it a cornerstone for understanding modern critical theory. Gramsci's concept of cultural hegemony is a central theme in the reader. He argues that the ruling class maintains control not just through economic dominance but through cultural institutions that propagate its ideology. This hegemony, according to Gramsci, permeates every aspect of life, shaping people's beliefs and values to align with the interests of the dominant class. By controlling the cultural narrative, the ruling class ensures that its power remains unchallenged. Gramsci emphasizes the need for a counter-hegemonic culture to arise from the working class, challenging the status quo and creating a new cultural hegemony that reflects the interests of the oppressed. Gramsci's writings on intellectuals reveal his belief in their crucial role in shaping and disseminating ideology. He distinguishes between traditional intellectuals, who see themselves as independent of the ruling class, and organic intellectuals, who emerge from and speak for the working class. Traditional intellectuals often maintain the existing social order, while organic intellectuals work to transform it. Gramsci sees the development of a cadre of organic intellectuals as essential for the success of a revolutionary movement. These intellectuals bridge the gap between theory and practice, educating and organizing the masses. Gramsci's analysis of the state and civil society is another significant aspect of his work. He views the state not merely as a coercive apparatus but as a complex of institutions that include civil society. In Gramsci's framework, Civil society is where ideological control is exercised through institutions like schools, churches, and media. This distinction is crucial for understanding how power operates beyond direct political domination. For Gramsci, the war of position, a slow, strategic struggle to gain influence within civil society, is as important as the war of maneuver, the direct confrontation with state power. This strategic approach highlights the importance of winning hearts and minds in the battle for social transformation. Gramsci's thoughts on education also feature prominently in the reader. He believes that education is a critical site of ideological struggle. The educational system, under the control of the ruling class, perpetuates the existing social order by instilling dominant ideologies in students. Gramsci advocates for an educational reform that promotes critical thinking and empowers individuals to challenge the prevailing hegemony. He envisions education as a means to develop a new intellectual and moral order, integral to the revolutionary process. Throughout his writings, Gramsci reflects on the nature of political leadership and the role of the Communist Party. He argues that the party must be deeply connected to the working class, acting as a collective intellectual that guides and educates the masses. The party should not merely impose its will but engage in dialogue with the working class, adapting its strategies to the needs and conditions of the people. This participatory approach to leadership underscores Gramsci's commitment to a democratic and inclusive revolutionary movement. The Antonio Gramsci Reader, Selected Writings 1916-1935, is a testament to Gramsci's enduring influence on Marxist theory and practice. His insights into cultural hegemony, the role of intellectuals, the interplay between state and civil society, and the importance of education and political leadership continue to resonate in contemporary discussions of social change. Gramsci's work challenges readers to think critically about the mechanisms of power and the possibilities for transformative action. By highlighting the significance of cultural and ideological struggle, Gramsci provides a framework for understanding and contesting the forces that shape our world.